So this is the last game. As a scientist, you obviously know already the table of periodic elements. This one is a bit particular. It's a bit peculiar because first it's blue and it's European. And then there are some hidden questions. So some elements have a star. And behind this star, there is a question that is both linked to the, the element itself and the EU. So it's a bit nerdy, but uh, let's see what we can get. So you can pick which question you want, which element, and I have the, the question for you. How do you feel about it? No, uh, well, fine. <laughs> fine. 84? Polonium. So this one is an easy question. Which European physicist discovered the polonium? Uh, the most important um, Polish physicist is uh, Marie Curie Sklodowska. And we also have a program uh, named after her. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, there is, um, and it's not a uh, very small program, it's actually the biggest uh, uh, science mobility uh, program on the planet. So it's 47. 47. You ski, right? Yes. Which European team got the silver medal at the last Olympic Games? The Pyongyang Olympic Games. Well, uh, that was... Uh, most probably not me in the team. Even in though we see you skiing, skiing, skiing. Yes, absolutely. Well, if it is team. European, uh, I don't know, but it, uh, it uh, could have been uh, Austrian, Swiss uh, or Norwegian. It's they one are of the them. best. Uh, so. It's Austria. It's Austria. So uh, that's the, the first one you named, so it's right. Another one, maybe? The game is never ending. I mean, uh, yeah, if I you have time, we can continue. Yeah, see that there are 103 elements, or no, 18 elements. There is not one question there, uh, for there, each of them. And, and maybe we could pick 63, because there is an interesting story. 63, which one? 63. 63 so. Okay. So oh, you don't know which one is? I think that this is, this is perfect. It's, uh, it's very, very yeah. European. So it's European. Uh, did you know that the element was called after the, the continent itself? Well, I think it's quite uh, straightforward. But in which EU country was it discovered? Yeah, it was uh, one of the, the founding uh, countries of European Union. And over the, the beginning of uh, 19th, uh, 20th century, they have been thinking of European uh, importance, uh, European integration. So, so it yeah, was France. It was France, indeed. And, uh, and uh, Eugène Antoine de Marseille gave the name uh, to this new element, gave the name Europium for um, the continent. Last question? Yeah, last question. Tell me. So far, you've answered all good. Yes. And, uh, well, what, um, what is there? F uh, phosphorus? 15? Well, you didn't pick the, um, the easiest one. No. Which Anglo-Irish chemist discovered phosphorus? Well, that's, uh, I have no clue. I have some options for you. Robert Boyle, John Dalton, or Joseph Priestley? Uh, Boyle. And it's Boyle. Oh, was okay. it a random pick or? Yeah, random. It was random, okay. Thank you very much for answering those questions. I think that's my gift for you. You can have it for wow. your office. A beautiful. With your signature? <laughs> maybe not my signature because, well, maybe we could is there any still alive scientist that could sign it that discovered oh, yeah, an element? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. And, and there are also some elements which are to be discovered. So yeah, maybe the GRC will have its own element soon. Yes, if you discover maybe, it. maybe, maybe. Actually, I visited in um, in uh, Japan uh, the institute where they discovered uh, not long time ago one uh, one element. So still have some. Still, let's give some hope. Okay. Thank you very much everyone for watching. If you want to rewatch the video, you can still share, comment. There is the main video that you can watch here. And for the rest, bye.